Sydney, with, uh, with Billy Guerin officially stepping down, if you will, today, calling it quits, can you uh, go back in time a little bit and remember the significance of giving him the cup first when you guys Yeah, um, you know, he'd uh, played a long time and obviously had won one before, but, um, you know, it had been a long time since he had got another, another chance to, to win, and um, it was a big part of our team and our success, but um, more so the, the length of time and at his age, I think it was it was pretty special. So, it's pretty happy to, to pass it to him, and uh, you know, it was a lot of fun having the opportunity to play with him. And um, you know, he was a great guy in the room, great leader, and it's nice that uh, he's able to do this here tonight. He said he was asked about his favorite goal that he scored, and he said the goal in overtime against Philadelphia early on in that playoff series that ignited your guys' run to the cup. Can you take us back to what you remember about that play or that moment? Did you get a sense that something was crystallizing before your eyes as well that you know could end up with poised in the cup? Um, I think at that point you don't, you don't want to think that far ahead, but um, I, I remember that goal, um, five on three, and I think it was five holy enough scoring on Biron, but um, that was a huge goal for us. Um, you know, I think Billy scored some some big goals throughout his time here, but uh, that was that was certainly a big one. And um, like I said, he was he was a leader, but that was a good example of him stepping up at the right time for us. What did you learn from him about being a leader? Um, I think we're we're different personalities for sure, but I think we probably made each other better. Um, I think he's uh, he's a guy who likes to keep things pretty loose and. Uh, you know, he did that with me, but at the same time, uh, you know, we were uh, we were competitive and it was healthy. But um, you know, like I said, I think we both helped each other, and, and certainly, um, I had a ton of fun and, and definitely am better for having played with him. So it is true that he came into the room and, and started getting on you right away. Oh yeah, first time I met him within ten seconds. So, um, but it was good. It was good for for both of us, and um, you know, I was able to I was able to learn a lot as far as. You know, keeping things loose, and I think that's a big part of what he brought. How is it arable? The What's first, that? The first ten seconds. He's got a he's got a skill. I don't know what it is, but he's got a talent for. He's quick. You can't catch that guy. You don't want to get in a verbal battle with him because he's really quick. But uh, you know, that was something that uh, I know for sure we'll always remember about Billy. But. Um, I, I really enjoyed playing with him. He was a lot of fun. He described your game this morning as a player who has an assault on the game lately. Uh, for those of us who have not uh, seen the Penguins every game, where is your game right now compared to past years? I don't know. I think that's always hard to judge. I don't think you get caught up really thinking about that. I think, um, if anything, uh, a big part of that is execution and, and making the most of the chances you get. And um, you know, We've been able to do that. Personally, I've been able to do that. So. Um, when that happens, you just want to keep it going for as long as possible and um, keep doing those those important details and, and hopefully uh, get the same results. But um, I think everything, you know, that's that's a combination of the team playing well and executing, and you know, that's uh, you know, I think that's what it has to do with. You guys had the work at chemistry, but it seemed with Billy right away, you guys sort of had this instant recognition. It's, where does he rank in terms of guys you spent some time with in terms of that connection? I mean, with between him and Cooney, he's probably the guy I played the most with. So um, I think we, you know, we've seen the game a lot, pretty similar, and uh, we like to attack. And he was really good at making those little plays um, off the wall. He's a right-hand shot, which helped, um, especially with his shot. You know, he knew where to go. He knew those those spots to get in so um, yeah I think there was definitely a chemistry there with uh, with like I said making those little plays and he's a goal scorer so he could he could score from anywhere in the offensive zone yeah yeah it was yeah he was great um, you know older guy coming in and um, with me being a young captain he was there to support and um, that was important for me but I think um, if anything, he treated everyone the same and probably me a little bit more harsh, but in a good way. Um, it was good, and he kept things fun, and uh, like I said, we had a great time playing together. So I'm, I'm really happy he's able to come here tonight and do this here. It's, uh, it's really special. So is there much difference between the, the devil style that they're playing this year? Than, is it the same sort of game that you've seen them play over the years? Yeah, I mean, we've only seen them once, but um, yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty similar. And, 
uh, a lot of those guys have been there and know that system pretty well. So um, I would expect to see a lot of a lot of the same thing. There's a lot of, I remember you guys used the phrase a lot, uh, you don't get too high with the highs, too lows with the lows when you guys are going through some struggles early in the season. Mm -hmm. Are you practicing what you were preaching there about not getting too high in yeah. this the yeah. streak that you're on right now? Yeah, I think that works in, in both cases. And, um, yeah, you just have to remind yourself of what's important and can't think about the results too much. You have to worry about playing the right way and giving yourself a chance and um, trust that you know, you're going to get the results. So, yeah, I think it's important to, to make sure we stay on task here and um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll be tested here tonight.